We come to that point now in our order of worship where we pause to come before God and to <clears throat> lift up our joys, our concerns, our thanksgivings. As we come before the Lord this morning, let's continue to remember uh, Sandra Rich in our prayer. She was sort of having a, a sort of a rough day yesterday, so continue to pray for her. Continue to pray for Debbie's grandmother, Josephine Mayeri. Let's also pray for Scotty Berthold's family. Uh, his grandmother, Inez, has died, and uh, uh, the services will be this week. Uh, Scotty, unfortunately, will not be able to go back for them. So let's keep that family in our prayers. What else do we need to lift up? Okay, Steve Parsons is having surgery on the 24th of July. What else? Do we have a microphone? Okay, Dale. We're missing last Sunday. We went to Louisville, Kentucky to visit my brother and my son. His birthday, we were ple pleased to enjoy his birthday. John turned uh, another year older while we were there, and he was delightfully surprised to see us on his birthday. Wow. He teared up every time he said, oh, I'm so happy today. It's the best birthday I've ever had. And we had a great time visiting with my brother. He's the only family member I have left out of 12 siblings. Mm, okay. And we really enjoyed our visit and we missed everybody while we were gone. Okay, well, we're glad that you had a great time and it's always good to get together with family. What else, down this way, Andrew? You want us to pray for your mom? Okay. Say that again. Okay, her mom has a blood clot. Okay. Let's keep her in our prayers. What else? Pat? I'd like you to keep. Um, my brother and his family in your prayers. Uh, those of you who have pets will understand this. They've lost two pets in the last four weeks that were members of their family. And um, my little niece, uh, she's only seven, and she's having a hard time with that. And also, uh, this is in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, and uh, my brother texted me, and y'all be happy we have the rain because they're now in a level two drought condition down there. Mm. Okay. Okay, one more. My son Brad told me last night that um, a fella he works with, this little girl who is six, um, has they've they've found tumors behind her eyes. And uh, they're having a benefit singing down in Lee County at the theater. And I think it's in August. I'm, sure, I'm not sure the date, but I'll get that. But um, please keep that family. I think the last name is uh, Jane, I think. I'm not sure for certain, but just remember that little family. Thanks. Okay. What else? Let's go before the Lord in prayer. <clears throat> most gracious God we come into your presence and we just thank you that we have this opportunity to be here today we thank you for our nation and for the men and women that fought so long ago to, to win the independence that we have and for those that have fought since to keep that independence we thank you for the way that you move in our life and for the way that you reveal yourself to us in, in the, the beauty around us, uh, for the, this wonderful place in which we live and the mountains that we can see and for the, the rivers and for all the ways that you have uh, painted this part of the country just so that we could enjoy and see your handiwork. Most gracious God, 
we come before you as your children. Children that sometimes go astray. Children that sometimes are stiff-necked and disobedient, yet we come to you knowing that as our Heavenly Father, you have not forsaken us, that you are patient, and that you know that we will eventually turn back to you. Help us, Lord, to make that day come sooner rather than later. Help us to learn to put our trust into you with each and every day, with each and everything that comes our way. We thank you for these people that we have mentioned up this morning. They are our friends, they are our relatives, and they mean something to us. We're worried about their health. We're anxious about things that are happening in their lives. We worry about those people in our country that are in drought situations. So much seems to be happening and so much seems to just cause us to, to sit back and wonder at times. Be with us in our wonderings, in our ponderings as we seek to discover your will, as we seek to be the people you have called us to be, as we reach out in your name, as we share the good news, and as we seek to let your love flow from our lives. We ask this in Christ's most precious name. Amen.